and Partridge Wolf. Hello, my name is Dr. Deborah Cannon Partridge Wolf. I am a teacher and a preacher. That's me over there. I was born way up in Cranford, New Jersey in 1916, over 100 years ago. Growing up, Mama and my family stressed the importance of education. When I was young, my brother David was in high school and he'd come home and teach me the things he was learning. It was so cool to feel like I was ready to learn the things he had came home and taught me. My sister Mary helped me learn how to play sports and sing. I finished high school when I was 16 and I went to the New Jersey City State Teachers College, the library at my high school and the College of Education where I earned my first degree are named after me. After that, I went to Columbia University to learn how to teach in rural communities. And then I moved to Alabama to work at the Tuskegee Institute and schools in rural Macon County near Shorter. In Alabama, I taught wonderful young people at Tuskegee and more at the Prairie Farm School. We didn't have much of at Prairie Forms, but we used what we had to make what we wanted. In 1950, I left Macon County for more advanced education, and in 1951, I became the first African American professor at Queens College in New York City. While there, I led students on study trips to Africa. As I like to say, education does not stop when one leaves school. I moved to Washington, D.C. and worked with the House of Representatives in Congress and with Presidents John F. Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson to make school better for young people and to help young people get to college. I wanted to give them a head start. I worked for the rights of all during the Civil Rights Movement. I brought people of the world together at the United Nations and stood tall at the March on Washington in 1963. There's me on stage next to Martin Luther King Jr. Growing up, my papa was a pastor, and in 1970, I followed in his footsteps and became one of the first African American women ordained as a minister by an African by an American Baptist church. I started preaching at the church where I grew up, the First Baptist Church in Cranford, New Jersey. I stood in the pulpit where Papa stood. I was elected the Grand Basilis, or head, of my sorority, Zeta Phi Beta. I was very honored to serve my sorority in this way. I have been blessed with one child, three grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. I met a lot of people in my life, and I know that everyone deserves the same respect. I taught a lot of people in my life, and I know that no two people are the same. Some of the brightest minds I've ever had in the opportunity to teach are those young people who've come from the backwoods of Alabama. Deborah Cannon Wolf. The end.